All right, today I want to show you um, the new web browser that uh, I'm using. Um, I was a Firefox web browser uh, user and also Chrome, but I've moved to a new one now called Vivaldi. Uh, I like Vivaldi because Vivaldi gives you a lot of configurability. Uh, you can configure it uh, any way you want to, to, to your liking. Let me go ahead and fire it up. You can either click on, I'm in OpenSUSE Linux. Uh, Leap 42.1 KDE. I click on this icon here. And I can right click and hit the run command and start typing Vivaldi and it'll bring it up and I can just hit enter and it'll open it for me. Um, once the Vivaldi web browser opens, uh, it's set to the home page of OpenSUSE.org. And let me just go out. If you click on a new tab, it brings up the speed dial, which I really like. I've configured it now exactly like I want it to be. If I want to go to my mail, I can just click the mail group and I can click Outlook Web Access and that will automatically uh, bring it up and I can just sign in. A few seconds Outlook will open up and it will bring it up uh, to my uh, Outlook web mail, uh, web based mail. So let me click on this again and let's say now I want to go from here, I'm going to go to my Proton Mail account instead. That's the uh, secure encrypted end to end encryption application there in uh, Switzerland, uh, defeating the NSA. So I'll do a login. It's going to have me log into uh, my account initially and then provide a secondary login to decrypt the uh, mail that's on the server. And if you click login and it should uh, open up here in a few seconds. If you haven't used Proton Mail, by the way, excellent, excellent, excellent email program. Let's go ahead and log in to decrypt my mailbox. And what's nice about Proton Mail is the mail stays on the server in Switzerland. It doesn't go anywhere. Even if you send somebody an email, that mail message does not go away from that server. It sits there. What does go away from the server is a notification that that user has mail. Uh, and they click on a link that takes them back to the server and uh, automatically decrypts their message for them. Alright, so this is uh, Proton Mail. And let me go ahead now and uh, just get out of it. I'm showing you Proton Mail. It's not the purpose of this video. And uh, so I'll close that. And also, let me go ahead and just um, close Outlook as well. All right, now I'm in a uh, screen now. Uh, if I click on Mail again, I can go to AB Tech. I'm not going to do that. But if I click over here, Mail, go back to News, I can get into my New York Times subscription. And this is pretty slick because it automatically recognizes me, uh, logs me in, uh, it saves it, in other words, the session. So I can uh, read my mail uh, every morning get caught up on the news. If I want to look at other news besides New York Times, I can click this again, click on the news group, and let's say I want to see uh, BBC World News. I click on BBC World News and it brings up the BBC World News for me. And then the last thing I want to show you is, let me go ahead and click on a new tab here. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to, uh, let's look at um, PBS brings up PBS. Looks like the Hurricane Matthew did some damage here. So this has been a preview of Vivaldi. Uh, there is a configuration for Vivaldi where you can configure it, and that's done over here with this gear for settings. Uh, you can also nice thing about Vivaldi is t as well is you can go in here, you could bump up and zoom in uh, if you want and zoom back out. Uh, right from within the browser, so it's pretty slick. So this has been a uh, preview of Vivaldi web browser. If you haven't used it, I highly recommend it. Go to www.vivaldi.com, download the browser. I'm using it in OpenSUSE Linux, uh, Leap 42.1 KDE. It's available for Mac and for Windows as well. Have a good day.